Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a quick video on how to use the console widget in the DMX Tools project. So um, I've opened up the project here and I have created a new DMX library and also added a moving head to the scene. Um, additionally, I have taken my DMX component and assigned my library and a fixture patch. So let me show you what I've got inside here. So I set up my controller, um, set up all of my functions, and a couple fixture patches. Um, and so I'm assuming that you have this set up in order to uh, use the console widget. So um, what we're gonna do is we open up this folder and we're just gonna right click on the run editor utility widget. Um, and we're presented with this window. And essentially what this tool does is allow to, allows us to create a essentially a smart widget that gives us faders for each of the available um, each of the available functions that this uh, the patch has. So I can select, say, a library, like let's do my DMX tools library. I select fixture patch one, since I know that this one here um, is assigned to uh, moving head patch one. And um, if we do update faders, it'll actually give us all of the, uh, all of the functions and, their, and a fader for each. So then if we play this, um, let's look over there, there it is. Um, what we can do is actually change these and I already know, you know, what's going to happen. Um, change our dimmer, frost, let's do some colors, there we go, so you can see a little better. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. You can do other things like, you know, we can set everything to max if we wanted, we can set everything to min if we wanted to turn it all off. Um, or we can just do a sine wave on all of them. So uh, it's just a, a quick tool for, for testing. So that's how that works. Um, I will leave it at that.